Bloodthirsty Putin is not just terrorizing everyone inside Russia and its border countries. He's laid his eye on a bunch of islands basically across the globe. That's according to the Western press, of course. Putin's Falkland threat, Britain, has to boost defense as Russia arms Argentina. Falkland Islands fears for Russia-backed invasion. Russia questions Britain's claim to the Falklands and is preparing to lease fighter jets to Argentina in exchange for beef and wheat, says the Telegraph. Britain is apparently so scared that they're sending two troop-carrying helicopters to the Falklands and surface-to-air missile systems. The islands themselves are located far away from Britain in the Atlantic Ocean, near Argentina. No wonder Buenos Aires laid its claim on them when decolonization began. In 1965, the UN said the claim was legitimate, but that both sides needed to make an agreement. Britain stalled the negotiations for more than a decade. The Falklands have oil and gas. So why would London want to give them up? Argentina decided to act by force, which led to a war, and it was won by Britain. In 2013, a referendum was held there. Almost 100% of citizens decided to stay with Britain. Joining me in the now is Brian Gersh, UK column journalist and former lieutenant commander in the Royal Navy. Brian, good to see you again. What does Putin have to do with the Falklands? Well, that's a very good question. I think uh, what this is really to do with is what uh, the British uh, press and media think he has to do with. And I've been reading quite a few articles now saying it is amazing how there's a black and white opinion in uh, the British and indeed American international press uh, when we look at Russia and Putin. So I, th I think this is to do with perceptions in our press and media. What kind of threats are the Falklands facing? Why is Britain beefing up its military presence there? Uh, well, I think because the British government has absolutely failed the Falkland Islands. From a British point of view, uh, we've seen successive cuts, severe military cuts by the uh, British government, most lately by David Cameron. And of course, we're now at the point where uh, the Royal Navy in particular is virtually unable to deploy in the way it did in 1982 to defend the Falkland Islands if there was to be any form of military um, attack or move made on the islands. So we've seen the British government uh, uh, cut right back on defence and of course they're now suddenly realising that uh, the Falklands in a military sense are becoming vulnerable. Even if Russia were going to supply Argentina with fighter jets, the countries have very close relations. It's a business deal or would be a business deal. What would be wrong with that? Well, this is where I think the mainstream, what we're talking about is propaganda. We're talking about hype in the uh, British uh, uh, press and media at the moment, uh, that this thing is being um, blown up out of all proportion as if to make it look as if uh, Russia and Putin are posing a threat to the Falkland Islands. In the press as a whole, we're constantly seeing this black and white situation. Everything that Russia and President Putin does is wrong, and everything the European Union, Britain and America does is right. Luckily, many people in the uh, UK are starting to see through this. And uh, we've even got reports in the mainstream press. Uh, Peter Hitchens, a well-respected journalist for the Mail, has printed an article recently uh, where he's talked about this black and white approach. And he's also started to draw attention to the fact that uh, problems in Ukraine can actually be traced to the starting of a coup. And of, uh, this is denied, of course, by, by most of the press and media in Britain. Brian Garish, UK column journalist, former lieutenant commander in the Royal Navy with us in the now. Thanks so much for your analysis. Thank you.